Stem cells exist in cord blood, but the problem is that there's so few of them that it's not really enough material to, to use in general in a human patient. So what we do is we take those stem cells out of the cord blood units and we grow them on a special protein in order to produce more of those stem cells to go into a patient. And when we're done, we have three, four, five hundred times as many stem cells as we initially started with. We start on day zero, and day zero is the day that we actually pull the cells out of a cord blood unit. So when we first get a unit in, what we do is we load that unit onto the plasma extractor with a starch solution. And what that starch solution does is it causes the red blood cells uh, to stick to each other and then settle to the bottom. Once we've recovered our white cells, the next step is to actually separate out the stem cells from those white cells. The machine that actually we perform the selection on is called a Clinimax. It does not go bing or pow. What we do is we have an antibody that's specific for our stem cells. It will only attach to our stem cells. Attached to that antibody is a tiny little metal bead, and the antibody sticks to the cell. The bead is stuck to the antibody, and then that bead is attracted to a magnet. And that's how we actually hold the stem cells in place, get rid of all of the other cells, and then do a wash and recover just the stem cells. We put them into uh, media containing chemicals and, sh and things like sugar to allow the cells to grow. Uh, for a long time, uh, with our first trial, um, my voodoo was that I had to sing to the cells. And I used to actually see how old the patient was who was going to be getting the cells. And I used to uh, pick, try and pick songs that would either fit the original chord unit or kind of fit the age of, of the patient. I think the cells really like the clash. I, th I, think, I think our chord cells really like the clash.